10 years ago, this Associated Press photo caused international outrage after it appeared in the New York Times and other media outlets depicting a young Palestinian boy being beaten by an Israeli soldier on the Temple Mount. Except it didn't. Tuvia Grossman, a Jewish student from Chicago, was beaten within inches of his life by a Palestinian mob before being rescued by the Israeli border policeman in the photo. This shocking photographic misrepresentation provided the catalyst that launched HonestReporting.com. Ten years on, we caught up with Tuvia and his rescuer Gidon to find out how their lives have changed. Join us for an Honest Reporting exclusive with Tuvia and Gidon as they meet for the very first time since that fateful day. Tuvia, it's uh, been ten years, a long time. Where's life taken you since that fateful day? Well, since then, I've been back to Chicago. I've been through law school. I made the decision to make Aliyah and came here to Israel. Um, did an internship in the Supreme Court, passed the Israeli bar, and I'm now working as a lawyer in Tel Aviv. You're practicing law. Did it ever occur to you to challenge either then or now uh, the media through the courts and hold them accountable for, for some of the libel that they, uh, that they practiced? I did feel that it was important maybe to take some action which would get the story out to light um, vindicate the soldier in the picture, publish the true nature of the story that he was actually saving my life and, and not beating me. Um, and I think I've managed to do that and that the media has come out and uh, taken responsibility to an extent um, for the misrepresentation. The soldier in the photo you mentioned being misrepresented, you've never actually met him nope. and you will for the first time this evening. Did you ever think you would meet him and, and why now? I actually never thought I would meet him. Um, the initiative uh, for me meeting him here today was taken by my wife, Adina. And my wife actually approached Honest Reporting, who took the steps and the means to, to find Gidon, and they're the ones that succeeded in locating him and bringing him here today. אני מאוד שמח לראות סוף סוף את הבן אדם מאחורי התמונה. לא הכרתי אותו בחיים, אני בכלל חשבתי שהוא גר בחוץ לארץ, באמריקה. ועכשיו אתה מפתיע אותי הפתעה טובה, לדעת שהוא גם חי, גם בריא, גם שלם, גם מנהל משפחה, ובנוסף לכך גם תושב מדינת ישראל. הגעתי מתוך סולטן סולימאן. יחד עם עוד הרבה חיילים. אני פיקדתי עליהם, ואז הגענו לצומת רוקפלר, היה שם אמבולנס שרוף. ככה לפתע זיהיתי בחור שבורח במנוסה ואחריו המון שמנסה אה, לתקוף אותו, בעצם להרוג אותו, עם כולו דם בראש, ואז הסתערנו עליהם, והדפנו אותם וטיפלנו בבחור ופינינו אותו. When Gidon saw me and uh, rescued me, um, I was thinking about uh, different things were going through my head. And one of the things that went through my head was the timing of the event, that it was the day before Rosh Hashanah. And on Rosh Hashanah, we know that we uh, blow on the shofar. And the image of a shofar flashed through my mind. And for some reason, a story that I had learned way back when, had not really reviewed since maybe first, second grade, that was a story of, of the biblical Gidon. Um, when he was um, up against a huge army of uh, Midianim and he only had 300 men with him. And God told him that he should blow on the shofrot and that would scare all the Midianim and they would run away from the loud noise. And that made me yell really loud and I, for some reason, the Arabs quickly, um, for a second, backed away and I used that opportunity to jump up and run. And I ran towards a certain direction and Thank God that that was the direction towards where Gidon was, was standing. And for 10 years now, I didn't know that that person was also named Gidon. And that's clearly a very moving um, moment for me. Yom or yom ayim akhre eruwa, aya persum kashem eod, shi lemaase ishtirata oto. Vi mistakelet, vi omeret, tislakel maa, i mitkasheret alai, vi omeret, ata awet at munah shilcha baiton, metzigim utcha kerotzeach. ואני מחפש, ובאמת מוצא את עצמי מוצג שם כרוצח. והייתי צריך להגן על עצמי, שאת הבן אדם שבעצם הצלתי את החיים שלו, אני מואשם בזה שהרבצתי לו, שכביכול ניסיתי לרצוח אותו. וזה היה דילמה ופשוט אבסורד אחד, אבסורד אחד גדול. אבל לשמחתי, יש מי שהתעורר בצד השני. 
אביו של טוביה, אני לא מכיר אותו, אבל זכור לי שהוא שלח תגובה באופן מאוד מאוד מיידי, וככה הציל את המצב פחות או יותר. לצערי הרב, אנחנו מאוד חלשים, אנחנו לא נלחמים, לא יוצאים למלחמה, אלא בעצם יוצאים לתגובה תמיד. צריך לארגן אותה ולצאת. ממש כנגד התקשורת השלילית, כנגד מדינת ישראל ונגד כוחות הביטחון בפרט. כי אנחנו תמיד נזכרים להגיב אחרי שמשהו קורה. We're going to certainly do our best to keep up the hard fight. Tuvia, Gidon, thank you so much for being with us this evening and sharing this moment with our viewers. You can learn more about our work and become a part of the solution to the ongoing challenge defending Israel from media bias in the news by visiting www.honestreporting.com Join our Facebook group, follow us on Twitter. You too can make a real difference to make sure that tragic events that happened 10 years ago as this story tonight do not reoccur. From Israel, this is Joe Himes for Honest Reporting.